well this is um our favorite christmas books and films and it's a collab with the richardson simple living and <laughs> I read it off the thing because when I do a collab I'm always worried that I say the channel name wrong even if I know the channel name really really well but in my head I always think of it as the Richardsons you see so the Richardson Simple Living it's called and um, basically they're home educating a 12 year old girl um, they do they do cookery videos or um, the mum does like um, sit down chatty videos like you've gone round her house and had a cup of coffee with the type chatty videos which is quite nice and um, they also talk about how they're home educating the 12 year old um, I like the channel the thing is she comments she commented on a few of my videos and she always put very nice stuff and you don't think to click on the name of somebody when they comment see if they've got a channel of their own and one day in one of her comments she, she mentioned um, a video they'd done and I was like oh they've got a channel so I clicked on it and they have and I enjoy their channel um, and she's, she's really nice and she always gets back to you if you comment on her videos and stuff like that and um, I asked her if she wanted to do a collab because um, on the day of me filming this she'd only got five subscribers and it's so hard to get your channel out there especially if you're not doing out showy or flashy or following what everybody else is doing if you're just being you and it's everyday stuff then it's dead hard to get your channel out there so go and have a look at the channel i'll link it in the description box below and if you like what you see subscribe uh, or go say hello um anyway oh if you're new here from her channel from the richardson simple living <laughs> um my name's victoria i home educate four children i uh, do family vlogs uh homeschool or home education whatever you prefer um and the odd body confidence interview so these are favourite uh, Christmas books. Our, our local library is still short because of COVID. Normally we go and get a load of Christmas books from there. Things like um, The Christmas Story, you know, Jesus and um, and just lo lots of lovely, lovely picture books. But our library is still short, so I've had to raid our bookshelves. And this is the first year we're really going into Christmas chapter books. So a lot of our favourite things are like picture books. Um, and you can tell the ones we've read to death because they're battered so I'll, I'll hold things right up because sometimes when I film video, even though I'm sat right back sometimes when I film videos where I'm holding stuff out you can't see it so the first one's A Gruffalo's Child by Julia Donaldson it's the sequel to The Gruffalo but this one's like it's not really Christmassy but it's nice and snowy there's snow scenes in it oh look One Winter's Day and it's got feel of bits in it. Who's that boy? M. Christi Christina Butler. There's this little hedgehog with a hat and scarf and mittens. And as he's walking through the snow to get to Badger's house, he uh, he ends up lending his hat, his scarf, and his mittens to other animals that are cold. And then when he when he comes out of the Badger's house at the end of the snow, his house has been ruined, and the animals build him a new house. It's lovely. It's lovely. Farmyard Tales Christmas that this is battered look a little bit but it's a like it's a lift the flap one look which is one of the reasons kids love it <laughs> so lovely snow scenes and Christmassy scenes and it's lovely it's lovely oh a lady who follows my blog my Facebook page blog and I follow hers um lives near Derby we we don't live near Derby but it's the nearest city to us. It's quite a way, but it's the nearest city to us. So the, the kids know where Derby is. This book is called Santa is Coming to Derby. And it's all about Santa delivering presents and stuff. But they mention Derby and places around Derby or places in Derby. So it it's nice for the kids. It makes it a bit more real for the kids, if you know what I mean. Oh, Santa is in Derby. <laughs> so we read that every year as well. The Great, the great Christmas Pudding Rescue. Is that by Claire Friedman? The um the train that brings the Christmas pudding um ingredients to Pudding Town doesn't turn up. So how are they going to have their Christmas pudding festival without the ingredients? So the um the right that Santa Santa sorts it. It's lovely. It is a nice book that one. But all Christmassy books are nice, aren't they? 
Merry Christmas, little mouse. I think my mum got this pudge when he was a baby. It's a nice feely one, look. Christmas, little mouse. And this is this is full of gorgeous pictures as well, look. Gorgeous, Christmassy, comforting pictures. Look, that nice. Um, okay. There's only two more picture books, and I'll go into chapter books. So if you're sick of looking at picture books. The Very Snowy Christmas, and this is another one, look. it's got a glitter on the front. But like I say, I'm missing going to the library, because normally Halloween, Christmas, Easter, we go to the library and just get all the books. <laughs> and so much so that I'd say to the kids, leave some behind for the other children who <laughs> might want some. So we haven't got the full range of books that we normally have this time of year, but you know. Oh, what's this one, sorry? Santa's Noisy Night by Julie, Julie Sykes. And this one is a, um, a 3D one, look. Pop out book, pop up book, that's it. So it's also a bit, oh, <laughs> it's also a bit lovely as well. Poor Santa, stuck there. I have got, I have got a few more, but I need to find them. <laughs> They're somewhere in that mass of books. <laughs> so there will be some more, but they're the ones I've found out so far and they are favourites. So these are the chapter books. Only one of these we've already read. Oh, we've got one called The Invasion of the Christmas Puddings by Jeremy Strong. You know Jeremy Strong, the king of children's comedy, but that's downstairs because Beanie's reading it now. So The Invasion of the Christmas Puddings by Jeremy Strong, but I forgot to bring it up because I'm a loon. This is the only one we read every single year. The others I'm about to show you we haven't read before. Josie Smith at Christmas. It's got three long Christmas stories in it. The kids are hollering downstairs. <laughs> it's got three long Chris Christmas stories in it. And my mum read it to me when I was little. And I always read it to the kids every Christmas. And it, they love it. And it's special to me because they love it. Because I loved it when my mum read it to me. And it, it's lovely. It's lovely, lovely, lovely. And this is set in England in like the late 70s, early 80s. And before everything got everything got too commercial but you can still relate to a lot of it it's lovely it's lovely and there's lots of lovely pictures in it it's just lovely it's lovely but i love Josie smith anyway oh sorry that's by magdalene Mc, magdalene nab i always want to say mcnab but it's nab the and um, they haven't read this before got it from the charity shop it's called the winter wolf by holly webb and holly webb writes lots of animal stories for kids and they're normally very nice so we thought we'd give it a whirl excuse me and this one I got from the works in Skeg last year. Uh, it's got pictures in it. Magic reindeer. Can you hear the jingling bells and patter of hooves? A magic Christmas reindeer needs you to be his friend. Who's that by? Sue Bentley. That's a posh name, isn't it? Sue Bentley. Oh, now this one by Tom Fletcher, the Christmasaurus. And Beanie was thrilled, look, because the side of the book's blue. I've heard fantastic things about this book, but I haven't, we haven't read it yet. So I got it them in the Christmas Eve boxes last year. So by the time they thought about reading, Christmas had gone. And I've said if they enjoy it, I'll get the sequel, which is The Christmas Horus and the Winter Witch. But I've heard fantastic things about this book. Can't wait to start it. I'm thinking we'll read these two first, then the Josie Smith, and then we'll read this and hopefully it'll take us up to Christmas Eve. I've heard, yeah, I've heard great things about it. And Tom Fletcher's incredibly talented anyway, isn't he? Although I should never forgive him for writing The Dinosaur That Pooped a Planet because we got the book, the audio, not the audio, but the book, you know, you can get books with buttons on that make noises. We got one of them out of the library for The Dinosaur That Pooped a Planet and I didn't know there was that many disgusting poo sounds. Uh, yeah, Tom Fletcher, The Christmasaurus. Um... Forget everything you thought you knew about the North Pole, pop a crumpet in the toaster and get ready to meet a boy called William Trundle, his dad Mr Bob Trundle, Santa Claus, yes the real Santa Claus, an elf named Snozzle Trump, Brenda Payne, the meanest girl in the world, or in the school possibly the world, a nasty piece of work called The Hunter and a most unusual dinosaur. So I'm looking forward to reading on that, especially if it's good. Um, films... I mean, obviously, we like Elf. Who doesn't like Elf? Everybody likes Elf. Santa! I knew him, I knew him. Um, and I tell you what we like, Prancer. It's a sad one. But this film called Prancer, and it was uh, it was about when I was little. And I showed it to the kids, and they liked it as well. It's one we watch every single year. 
this is little girl and her mum's dad and the dad's having a hard time of it i mean when i watched it when i was little i thought the dad was really mean but watching it as an adult he's having a hard time of it um and the little girl finds a reindeer an injured reindeer and she's convinced it's prancer santa's prancer and um nobody else believes her and then of course at the end santa comes for him and it is prancer it's a beautiful film it's a lovely film um and it's not a film but there was a tv series called the darling buds of may that was on when i was little and there's a christmas episode um and it's on youtube and we always watch that every single year as well. There's a man called Tommy Mason who got sent to prison for thieving. And his, his, wife's, his wife's never visited him because she's so angry with him. And she's become a bit bitter and doesn't want anybody to talk to her. And so if, anyway, Tommy Mason escapes from prison. He's hiding in Pop Larkin's barn. And his little girl, Victoria, Victoria um, is sneaking him out of food. Uh, Pop Larkin, the little girl's dad, finds him. And he says, and Tommy Mason says, look, all I want is to see my kids. I just want to see my kids and then I'll go back to prison as quiet as a mouse. I just want to see my kids. And Pop Larkin's like, you just want to see your kids. Because it would tear my heart out if I couldn't see my kids. So Tommy Mason dresses up as Santa for the, um, the village Santa thing in the village hall. And when he's got his kids with him, he says, what do you want for Christmas? And the kids say, all I want for Christmas, I'm going to say, all I want for Christmas is for Daddy to come home. And he sees his kids, and before he goes, he sees his wife, and she forgives him. And um, then he goes back to prison as quiet as a mouse. It's, it's, that's really nice. It is nice. It doesn't sound nice, does it? Tells of thieves, and, but it is. It's really nice. We always watch that. Um, what else do we watch? Ooh! Uh, Disney did a version of The Christmas Carol. Um, and it's uh, one of the, you know, the old Scottish duck, Donald Duck's granddad or whoever he is, he's Scrooge, and Mickey Mouse is uh, Tom Cratchit, and then you've got a little mouse, a tiny Tim. It's a cartoon, it's about 29 minutes long, and I remember watching that and watching it and watching it when I was little. We couldn't get it anywhere, but now we've got Disney Plus. It's on there, and the kids have already watched it twice because I think they find it as magical as I did when I was little. Anyway, I've got to go because um, I said I'd take them down the allotment. Hammer in lockdown again, so the allotment is pretty much all we can do again at the minute. Um, so, yeah, check out her channel, and if you like it, subscribe and, and say hey up to her. Uh, sorry, that's Derbyshire for hello. Say hello to her. Um, so they're our favourite Christmas books and Christmas movies. The kids are trying to pressure me into putting the Christmas decorations up early. So we'll see if I cave or not. So I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye bye.